North Oshawa. Uh, what is this? The ninth? The ninth day of no, the tenth day of uh, December. All these walls here have to be insulated across the outside walls. It's a major flood down here. This is one room. The hallway. Quite a bit of work. A lot of cutting. I have to remove all these plates and pull the, the outlets forward. Insulation of the outside walls completed. Ready for drywall. Sweating like a Brahma bull. So this is Saturday, December the 12th, in mid-afternoon, 2015. And this is my son, Dean Scott, helping Hello. me with the budding attendant for this North Oshawa project. This is actually the day after his birthday. He turned the right old age of 48 yesterday. Pushing the big five oh wow. There'll come a time, Dean, you wish you were 50 again. So it's all in perspective. Yes. What about this job you're doing here? Well, this type of job is very labor intensive. As the drywall, as you can see, is two feet above the ground. There's no factory joints. They're all what we call butt joints. So it's five times the labor involved to 
achieve the same finish as having sheets standing up and you're on your knees the whole time and people wonder why the price is extremely high to do this sort of work well until you've done it or until you've witnessed it you don't know for the Wizard of Oz Munchkin. <laughs> yeah, right. well, I think I've made a mistake. We should be able to make ourselves tall and short as we need to. And here, of course, you're only three feet high and you got to hold that big hot. That's what I do every time I get up. Under a 30 degree angle quarter bead. They call it a splay bead. Splay quarter. Two trowels, approximately the same length. And this one has a red handle, which indicates that it's slightly concave for doing butt joints. It leaves bigger film. Uh, in the center of the joint. Not too much, but just enough to help cover the, uh, the, the tape. This is for corner beads. Just a straight trowel. Red handle trowel, slightly concave, butt joints. too often, but sometimes it's an advantage to be short. I'm only 5 foot 8 in shoes, and uh, so this lower joint is probably easier for me to do than a 6 foot 6 or 6 foot 7 basketball player, although he would have a longer reach, so maybe I'm wrong. In case you do 
shoot this all day, it's very hard in the lower back. And I'm getting close to 100 years old. Just gets more difficult as each day goes by. So the trick here, every time you pass the trowel across the wall, you must clean your trowel. Otherwise, you just end up putting it back on the wall. You keep doing that until it comes off basically clean. And the last pass, don't pull too hard. So that's about it for there. Just one more little tap. Tailing is a very difficult job. So, if you're bad, you go to hell. That's what you'd be doing for eternity. Mudding and taping. But that's in the, the upper stages of hell. So, but if you're really, really bad, you go to the, the lower part of hell, which is strictly sanding drywall for eternity. No breaks, no coffee breaks, no union breaks. Sand 24 hours a day. Now, I don't know how long the day is in hell, but you can count on this pretty long, so be good. Now, I'll be going to hell because people, many people have told me to go to hell more than once. In fact, uh, I've lost count of how many times uh, some of my so-called friends have said go to hell, so I guess that's my destination. Now, today is uh, Sunday, the Sabbath. Another reason why I'm going to hell, I'm working on the Sabbath. And it's getting close to noon. And I'm very tired. Running and taping is a tiring job. It's probably more tiring than hanging the drywall. Now, Extremely hot in this basement. Sanding, getting ready for uh, the primer. About halfway through. This is Monday morning, about 10:30.
takes a lot of work to get to this stage where the drywall can be primed, the tape joints and the new drywall. But this is the easiest part of the job, far and away. And the only part that I look forward to. Because after this, I'm out the door. Finished. And the uh, clients are happy, and I'm happy. So every day, approximately, at this time, 1 p.m., uh, since last Thursday, the owner, upstairs, Phyllis, brings me down a jug of ice water with a glass. Very nice gesture. And by this time of the day, I need it. Thank you, Phyllis. In the hallway are the neighborhood areas of upstairs, including these splay corners, which required some specialized work. Individual attention, but they're perfect. And here's this other, other in the bedroom. And I think it's about 2 p.m. on Monday, December the 15th, 16th, not sure. Walls are primed, project finished. Five days. Five straight days, including a Saturday and a Sunday. It's a lot of work. <laughs>